Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for January for the sign of Leo. This is for Leo's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but this is not a private reading, so it may not be for you. It may or it may not be. If you are in a happily ever after relationship, you should not be watching this reading. This is for the month of January. This is being recorded on December 26th. It may not resonate right now. It may resonate at the end of January. It may not resonate at all. Check back sometime in January, okay? Leo, what does Leo need to know? Mm, there could be some family feuds going on. Somebody may be thinking about moving planning a move or just the home life may be a little uh, uncomfortable okay things may not be as abundant as they as abundant as they once were you may be feeling that you may feel like there's a loss there's a loss of financial abundance you may feel it a loss you may feel like you're all out of money you know maybe you spent a lot of money at Christmas or whatever this is you may feel like you know you just don't have what you used to have right there's a loss of abundance here. But you guys have the strength and the endurance to get through it. Remember who you are, okay? This, whatever it is that you're going through at home is making you stronger and you do have the strength to deal with it. You do. Now we have a contradiction here. So it looks like you are looking for happiness, right? This is you looking for happiness you may be in a un, in a situation at home that is uh, lacking happiness you know it's lacking stability it's lacking security and you're looking for it it's like you know I'm looking for more but in order to find it you're gonna have to find the strength to complete this this is a completion that is needed so it looks like you guys have to end something you know maybe you gotta move I don't know but there's something at home that you need to turn away from that is, you know, it's costing you. It's costing you your own happiness. And I can see that you guys have the strength. And maybe you have to just pull it outside of you. You have to pull it up. You have to, you have to really find that force within you to go after your bliss. And in order to do that, you're going to have to complete something. Because on each side of you is a completion. So there's one there's one cycle or one thing that needs to be completed that's holding you back from happiness. It's like you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time somewhere, okay? Or you're wasting your money, you're wasting your time and your energy. It's like you're 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 hoping things are going to change but it doesn't look like I and mean, you have to find that force to go after what you want and it's like you may not be prepared you maybe you're not prepared you're not prepared to you know take that leap but it looks like you got to get prepared it's time to get prepared because you're wasting your time on something you're not seeing the opportunities you it's like you you see them you want them you have this vision but you're not taking action to go after your visions Therefore, you're staying in a situation that's not abundant, and you have to find the strength to remove yourself from it. The first step is getting out of this unhealthy situation, whatever it is. It's not stable, it's not secure, it's not abundant, and it needs to end. And the only way you're going to find your happiness is to take action, and you need to get prepared right now. You're wasting your time by not getting prepared. There's probably some fights going on at home. Family feuds. And you're expecting it to change? You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that... <laughs> not putting in any effort. Not putting in any work. This person, whoever you're dealing with, they're not really contributing. Could be any any sign. You're dealing with a person who's not really contributing to the household. Not the way they should. This could even be you. This could be you that's not contributing lack of desire. It's like I don't I don't have anything solid to offer. I'm not I'm not interested. Not interested in love, whoever this person is. 
A lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights, depression. And there's a change on the horizon. There's a change coming. The transformation is on the horizon because you're dreaming of happiness. The owl coming in, the owl signifies change. Your intuition has been telling you that you need to find the strength to do what's right for you. And because you have it, it's been causing a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. And all the while, you're, you've got this vision of happiness that you really want, but you're not taking action. Woo, there's that change, that transformation. Now I got the goosebumps. I don't know if you can see them that I was telling you about. I was looking at the owl. The owl is a signifier of death and change. And then we get the death card. So big things happen to make you change. Something is going to end. Completion, completion, completion. Endings. You may not be prepared for this ending. Maybe you're not prepared, but you better start getting prepared because there's an ending on the horizon. There absolutely positively is. There's a change coming for you, Leo. Considering the blessing, because when something is removed from your life, that usually things die, usually, when they're unhealthy. Okay? So something is ending because it's time for you to have that new beginning. It's time. It's time for your rebirth. It's time for you to shine. It's time for you to show the world who you are. It's time for you to be yourself again. It's time for you to let go of this restlessness. It's time for you to be happy. And in order for you to be happy, you're going to have to you're going to have to accept this transformation. You're going to have to find the strength to do it. Woo! Wow. Self-love. You love self-love. You got to always look at what's mirroring each other. You need to love yourself to receive the love that you deserve. Okay? You got to. You got to. You got to find yourself again. Love yourself. Support yourself. Put yourself first. If you, when you get to where you need to be, you will find Look right here. You will find that happiness. You will find that extreme bliss. But the only way that you're going to, you're, what you've been dreaming of, what you're looking at, the only way you're going to get it is to release, you, to accept change, to find the strength, to love yourself. You're probably holding on to something that once was stable. You thought it was stable. But whoever it is that you're dealing with, they're not emotionally connected to you. They're not. And you deserve love. And you want love. And you are a lover. And you are generous. And you have a lot of love to offer. You deserve love. There's an opportunity for a transformation here. And you're, you're, this is, this is going to happen. It's going to happen. Ending. Something is ending. This is an ending. And you and you're looking at it. You're looking at it. It's like you're right. You're. I think that you you know that it's coming to an end. Look at you're looking at this death. It's like you know that it's coming to the end, and you feel like you're not prepared. You feel like you can't do it. Find that strength within you to love yourself enough to say, you know what? I want extreme bliss. I want happily ever after. I want, and I don't want to do all the work because you've been doing all the work. You're reluctant to move on. Well, that's when death comes in. You don't have you don't have the strength to move on. You want to continue to live in restlessness and anxiety and lose sleep because you 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 don't have the strength to move on. So you're going to stay in a shitty situation because that's what this is in reverse. Somebody is staying in a shitty situation. <laughs> And there's no abundance there. There's nothing solid. And it's not going to last. And I'm sorry. It's not. It's not going to last. You have an opportunity for real love when you face your fears, when you face your demons. I'm serious. You absolutely do. You have an opportunity for real, genuine love. But you got to let go of your fears. you got to face them. you got to face them. you got to face this, this pain. This owl is coming in to initiate change for you because you have suffered long enough. Trust me. Anyhow, 
there's a there's a there's an opportunity there's a loss here there's a loss you're gonna experience some sort of loss or you are experiencing a loss you're experiencing a loss of love reciprocation I mean that's what you're experiencing right now because you're dealing with somebody who's not putting in the effort I mean yeah when you have an opportunity for love, somebody that's going to give you emotional support and happiness, you know, what you're looking for, what you are absolutely looking for, and you're thinking about ending something, but you're not prepared to do so, you're scared to move on, you got this fear of change, well, you can't escape it. Not with this owl on this death card, you cannot escape this change. And you know it. You do know it. I know that you know it. It's time for you to be happy. You don't got nothing to prove anymore. It's about being happy. You know, the constant power struggles you've had with this person, you don't need to do it. You know, you don't. You're a graceful, generous human being. You do not need to play this game. You don't need to be brought down. You don't need to be belittled. You don't need to fight anymore. You're dealing with a player. Maybe you're the player. I don't know. So there's a player here. Somebody's playing games. There's a completion that's needed and it's going to take effort. It's going to take hard work to deal with the pain. You're going to have to put in a lot of effort to go after your happiness. This change that has happened, yeah, you might have to work a little bit harder. This change that's going to happen gonna happen maybe it hasn't happened yet because there's a lack of closure yet so there's a change that is a brewing right here with, with these two cards with the owl and this card the death there's a change coming transformation is on the horizon you know it you're you don't feel prepared for it you feel like you're not prepared for it it's like you're trying to hinder it but it's coming whether you like it or not yeah you might have to work a little bit harder you might have to put in more effort to take care of the family or do whatever you got to do but but it's better than being brought down. It's better than being belittled. It's better than playing games. It's better than juggling. It's better than chaos. It's better than disorganization. And it's better than losing money because you're dealing with a situation in which it is stealing all your resources. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. The King of Pentacles reversed. The Two of Pentacles reversed. And the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, you're a hard worker. You are a hard worker. You have the opportunity for success. But when you're doing all the work and you're having to pay for everything and you're not getting any reciprocation, you're, it's just, this is a fucking mess. Excuse my language. It's like you're doing all the work anyway. And you may be feeling empty and lost inside. And you want to know why? Because this change is needed. This death of whatever it is, this ending, this completion, this transition is needed. You're going to have to face your fears. That's all there is to it. There's a feeling of emptiness because you, you, you don't feel like you can, uh, you know, do it on your own. You're not prepared. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You are one strong individual. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. You have the capability. You are very capable of success. There's no doubt. Whoever you're with right now or whatever you're doing right now, it's a complete loss of financial abundance. It's like you are losing money. You can't gain anything. You can't save anything. It's like you can't. It's like it's being squandered. It's being uh, burned. It's like your money's being burned. One of the issues here is pride. And I know that's a big issue. I mean, that, that lion resembles pride for Leo. And a lot of you guys don't want to hear it. Nobody does, right? Nobody does want to hear it. Pride is an issue here. It's not about proving yourself to your family, to your friends, to your work people, to anybody. It's, this is not, it's no longer about proving, oh, I made a mistake, yeah, you know, I made a mistake, and, and you don't want to face that you made a mistake. You know how many people make mistakes and marry the wrong person? Because they just don't know? Everybody. I mean, the majority. So, if you're staying just because you're worried about what other people are going to say, 
That's ego talking. What matters most, what matters most is unconditional love for you. You deserve love. And you have an opportunity for love. Now I'm just trying to see something right here. Now, this could be like a month. This would be like a month. If you could face your fears and remove yourself from this situation that is causing you so much loss, you would feel more content and happy and joyful and at peace and serene, more emotionally content than you have in a really long time within one month let's clarify this ace of cups right here now for singles for singles or couples for the singles there's a lack of closure as well there's a feeling of emptiness because you're still going through some sort of transformation. Here we have being naive. Somebody's being naive. Holding on. Afraid afraid of the unknown. Son of a bitch. You know, you you deserve love and you will have love. You will have love. So don't think that you won't. You, you're, are you afraid that you're going to grow old alone? Let that shit go. Don't be, just take that leap. Afraid to start over? Afraid to start at zero? Stop. Love yourself and love will come in. With somebody that will protect you. Somebody that will take care of you. Somebody that um, is very noble. Somebody that is wise. You have somebody else, somebody that, if you are the woman, you have somebody that is very, very capable and will take really good care of you. If you are the man, this is who you will become. You, this is who you are. You're capable of success. You're capable of taking back your power, being in control. This is for both, male or female. You have the you have the ability to take control of this situation, to be the boss. There's no doubt. And there absolutely is an opportunity for for love here. Whether you are single or you're in a relationship, there's an opportunity for new love. This is new love. It is. This is not a reconciliation. It's not. I know it's not. Somebody has been in a situation that is financially a mess. And not only is it a mess, it's, there's a lot of family feuds. There's not any much communication other than fighting. There's a lack of closure, feeling of emptiness. And it's time for change. It's time for somebody to move on. But they fear the unknown. And once they move on, they will have an opportunity for, you know, a new connection with somebody. But... Because of that fear, it's holding them back from love. Fear is holding you back from love. For those of you that are single and you haven't found somebody, there's lack of closure. There's a, there is. You need to allow this transition. You need to allow this to end. You need to really, really uh, release. You need to absolutely release. If you keep trying to, to, you know, if you keep dreaming about the person in the past, it needs to be released. It's over. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. You need to allow that to close. Stop expecting this person to come back because they're not coming back. They're not coming back, whoever it is. If you're single and you're waiting for somebody to come back, they're not coming back. They're not. You're, it's not happening. Okay? So if, if you are coupled, you know, 
there's a, I see that like there's a, there could be a change in circumstances because there's too many family feud. There's a family feud. There's a loss of money, loss of abundance, and you, some one person is putting in all the other work, and the other person is doing nothing, and it's sad. It really is. And then we have you here who needs to find the strength to to face your pride. You know, it doesn't. Who gives a shit what the neighbors think? what the family thinks no it's not about them it's about you it's about what you deserve and you are going to find somebody that's going to take care of you either way man or woman both of these people are caregivers so you are going to find somebody that is going to take care of you absolutely but you're going to have to face your fears first and take a risk and go after happiness instead of worried about what everybody else thinks so i feel like this is a month where you could actually be making some sort of move for couples you know i'm moving i'm moving I, I just want to be happy. I want happiness. I have this vision of something more. This ain't it. If you're a couple. That's what I see. I'm not going to pretend. If you are single, you're, some of you are still hanging on. Could be to a Scorpio. I don't know. You're hanging on to something. Closure. There's lacking closure here. I mean, I can't make this shit up. I can't. So if you if you are still communicating, still putting in any effort whatsoever, you have told the whatsoever, you have told the, told the universe that you haven't let go. And if you continue, and you have, I mean, if you have told the universe, you haven't let go. If you're still communicating, it's just the way it is. So anyway, then you're, then you're, then there's, you don't, your ship doesn't come in. Okay. It's delayed because you're still fucking around. Excuse my language. So anyway, we have a new opportunity for love for those of you that are ready to take a risk, but it doesn't look like many of you are ready to take a risk. Either way, transformation is on the horizon, death and rebirth. So be prepared for something. I think something is going to end significantly in your life. There's going to be a significant ending. There absolutely is, okay? And it is really going to propel you in a direction towards love and happiness. It is. It is. But the thing, the, the thing is, is that you're going to have to take a step. You're going to have to find the strength. You're going to have to, you know... Make that decision to walk away. We're going to get one more card. Oh, there goes that. So, in January, I feel as though you have an opportunity for transformation. Ending. Something is ending. Something big is ending and it's leading you towards something a hell of a lot more emotionally fulfilling but you gotta close something first that is there is something that needs to end a lesson needs to be what learned the world card is a lesson learned it's reversed you haven't learned your lesson yet because you haven't stepped over that finish line you have to step over the finish line you have to to have your new beginning and you know, it feels as though you're probably going to make the decision to step over that 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 uh, that finish line because wherever you're at, there's there's no abundance at all. There's no abundance, none. There's no there's nothing solid. There's nothing stable, and it sure as hell ain't going to last. So what are you wasting your time for? You know, I can't make this shit up, so I'm not gonna. All right, we're gonna get you an angel romance card. Leo, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. I mean, yeah, your friends will be there for you. Your real friends, your real family, the people that love you will support your decision. Believe it. Believe it. If you got to get out of something, if you got to get over it, lean on other people. But the, 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 the thing is, is that you can't keep going back. You can't. All that does is bring it back up, bring it back up, bring it back up. It halts the success. This is the victory and success. The only way you're going to get to victory and success is to allow true closure. And some of you are refusing to do so. And therefore, you keep on going backwards and you keep on rejoining the fight. You know, if you, if you like to fight, then hey, keep doing it. It's time of change. It's a time of rebirth. It's time to let what ends and what needs to end end you're strong enough 
and you deserve true love. You do, wherever that Ace of Cups is, it's buried, whatever. You, you will have it. Believe it. Good luck.